Good evening and welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm Odia Barandas. We've hit a big milestone here. No, I don't mean that we're almost done with the month here. We're almost done with the season. That is a big milestone, but one big milestone that we've hit is that uh, I've been playing this for 24 whole hours now. <laughs> so an entire day's worth of gameplay uh, of my life gone is spent in Stardew Valley, which is, it just, is a life well spent in my opinion. Uh, what have we going on today? Let's check the weather first of all here. Uh, living off the land also, we gotta check that too. That said, it's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day. Okay, no rainstorm for us, unfortunately. So I think what we're gonna have to do is wait till winter to upgrade our watering can. Living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back with another tip for y'all. Winter's coming soon, and that means your farming operations will be coming to a halt. No crops will grow in winter unless you're lucky enough to have a greenhouse. But there's still plenty to do more next time. Oh, we'll have to check tomorrow and find out what more there is to do. Uh, we'll have to look at that. So nothing will grow, so we can plan ahead for that. Oh, all this bok choy ready, ready to go here. Uh, yes. And we don't need to plant anything else here. It's not gonna grow. There's not enough time left in the month, so there's no point planting anything else here. Four days is not enough. So we'll, we'll enjoy the little uh, bonus from these things. Now, how much does bok choy sell for, we wonder? Uh, let's take a look here, see what people tell us. I don't know if we have to ship it before it tells us what it's worth. Artichoke. Bok choy, bok choy, bok choy. Bok choy? Bok choy. Oh, we have to actually ship it first and then it'll tell us. Look at all the stuff we got though. That's gonna be a payday. Um, let's keep... If we ship one, is it good enough now? Does it tell us now? No, we actually have to ship it. No, we can do though. Instead of shipping it, we can take it to, let's see, Thursday. Yeah, we can take it to the general store and uh, sell it there and then we can find out right away what it's worth. I don't think it sells for any less if we go to the general store than if we um, sell it here. I don't think this stuff is gonna grow again, but I'm just watering it just for out of habit. Uh, how's our apple tree going? Oh my God, our apple tree. Oh, our poor, poor apple tree. Okay. Uh, get away from him. Okay, good. Oh boy, hopefully he grows up big and strong. He is almost fully grown now. Um, and uh, Delgar just messaged me. I don't know if you can see that or not here. Um, that's a little a little Easter egg, I guess. Get rid of that, thank you. Um, so, last few days of fall, and we're running out of stuff to do here, for the most part too, because we're not gonna even water crops pretty soon here, I think. Uh, what did we find out between episodes here? Oh, in the comments, guys, we're always, I'm always reading the comments and that kind of thing, and uh, I could have looked this stuff up, but I don't like, I mean, I don't mind spoilers, some spoilers, like, it, it needs to be done in a good way. Um, I like to be able to figure stuff out for myself, in some degrees. Like, for instance, I liked experimenting with the jelly to find out, you know, how it works. And, uh, you know, it's it's fine. I mean, uh, one of the commenters mentioned how it works to me, and that's fine, and then I was able to look it up on the wiki after that, because it's like, I might as well just look it up and get the, get the real facts on it. But, um... You know, I did enjoy experimenting with it and finding out how it works exactly. But basically, if you're curious how it works, is uh, it basically doubles the price of your thing. So whatever it sells for, it doubles it. So for instance, if we sell blueberries, it sells for 80. If we have blueberry jelly, it sells for 160. And then it also adds on a 50 gold thing to every single thing. So that's why when we had the uh, salmon berries, these sell for five, it sold for 60 because it was five times five is 10 and then plus 50 is 60. So that's, or five plus five is 10. So that means when we sell cranberries, cranberries will sell for 260 to start with, and then another 50 for the jelly will be, uh, I mean, it sells for 130 normally, but if we, pr we do preserves with it, it sells for 100, uh, 310, so that's pretty amazing. Um, we shipped 13 jelly, and the, I guess it's just the average price is 160 there, I don't know what the point of that one is there. Um, we can also make preserves, which I didn't, I didn't try it, so let's try one of these bok choys in there. Actually, you know what we should do? is I think we should set up, like, if we are going to begin into, like, doing all of the fermenting of the, uh, the, the hops and making beer, I think we should also do fermenting of pickles and jellies and that kind of thing, too. So we should pickle things, too, as well. So what we're going to do is work towards making more preserve jars. And these aren't expensive at all. They're just stone and coal and wood. Uh, let's see how much we have here. We have coal, stone, wood. And we don't have a lot of stone here, it seems. Oh, here we go. There it is. Okay, so we can make... One, now we're missing coal. Okay, so that's all of our coal then. Can only make one. Well, that's not very thrilling. Well, we can make one more, then we can start preserving this bok choy and see what's, actually, I wanna see what it sells for first, so before we start preserving it. So let's take it over to the store here in a minute. Let's make sure everything's watered. I think we missed down here on these. Other than that, it's all good to go. 
So the quality sprinklers are great. I think over the winter here, we're definitely gonna build up a few more of these and be ready to go in the spring, ready and raring to go in the spring for uh, some serious automated planting here. Um, we also, someone suggested putting grass in here and that's a great idea because that'll self feed these guys and uh, they'll be happy about what's going on there. I don't know how to get them back in the house. Um, it says do not leave them out in the rain. And I don't know how to not do that, is what, uh, what I'm reading with chickens here. Um, so we'll have to look into getting them back in the house, maybe? They're coming in here, obviously. And maybe if I just close the door, if I know it's gonna rain, I close the door, and that'll, that'll keep them inside, maybe? I don't know, I don't wanna lock them out, is the thing. I don't wanna, like, accidentally lock them out in the rain. So, that's cool. We got a fair bit of money. So, I don't know what we wanna do with that exactly. Maybe we'll save it for now. I mean, we can't really do much with it. We could work on donations though, with with this with the fall with the winter cash here. There's not gonna be a lot of winter cash coming in. Our thing is dying, unfortunately. Did we get any oak resin yet? Cause that would be amazing. Nothing there. There's another one over here, I think, someplace. Let's see, oak resin. This one maybe? Where is it exactly? No. This one's not good to go yet. Over here? No, it's maple, I think. Yeah, no oak resin yet, man. It must take, oh, this is the oak resin here, I think. Yeah, it must take a long time to get that, unfortunately, which is bad because we need those to make the kegs. Uh, we did make the preserves jar though. And then we'll decide what we want to preserve. Um, we don't need to do it right now. We can always work on it later. I will put it up next to the other one here. There we go. So those are making cranberries right now, I think. Let's go over to town and see what this sells for, first of all. See what the bok choy sells for. We need to find Leah and give her some salads. It's already Thursday, and we haven't given her anything yet. So we need to definitely keep that moving, keep that train moving, the relationship train. Oh, I saw some worms. Can't neglect the worms. Those are always fun, right? Nothing goes bad with worms. Something good today? Another book, awesome, yes, cool. Very, very nice. You found a lost book, fantastic. I love the worms. All right, so let's get down to the store here. Lewis is ready to take his position. Hi there, sir. This loot is getting pretty lively at night. Yeah. Wanted the slime hunter slay six red slimes in the deep lava caverns. 360 bucks. Sure, we'll take down that quest. Um, maybe we should do that today, and then we can go deliver it tomorrow. Uh, we really don't have anything else going on today, so totally can do that. Uh, bok choy sells for... Oh, wow. Uh, I don't want to sell all of it. I just want to sell one. Uh, now we can know what it sells for, I think. Let's see. Bok choy now. Only if you ship it, apparently. Okay. It only shows up in your collection if you ship it. Good to know. Well, I'll tell you what. Can we do the math on that? I guess we can. This would sell us for 10. So this is 110. Uh, 19 is a little tougher. It's 660, 666. Or six, 660, rather. Um, wow, that's amazing. Uh, let's see. It's 5, 531. We sell one of these. Uh, math that for me quick. I think that was five, 50. No? 95, something like that? No, can't be that much, right? 83, okay, math it. 83, 71. So that's like almost 90, that's like 90, that's like 89, 88, something like that. Wow, that's a lot actually. That's fantastic. Uh, let's go sell that stuff off here. I mean, 88 is not bad for vegetables. What's, what's the most lucrative vegetable we have? 35, no. I mean, melon's a good fruit one. Oh, if we can make melon jelly, man, that'd be worth a lot of money. I don't know if we can or not. Artichoke is probably the best thing to preserve here. Pumpkin, ooh yeah, pumpkin. If we can preserve pumpkin, that would be good to preserve. Yams sell for a lot. Um, otherwise, nope, those don't sell for much at all. I think our best bet is like artichokes. We can get that. I don't know where we got that from. It must have been from a random picking. Pumpkin would be amazing though. Man, if we could make six hundred dollar, uh... because that would be that would be six hundred forty plus the fifty would be six hundred ninety per 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 preserves with that. Corn cells. Okay, I think actually um, to get the most bang for our buck, I think preserving this this bok choy might be good. Uh, it's a pretty reasonably high um, margin on those. So what we'll do is we'll actually sell off the good stuff 
and then keep the regular stuff, because I don't think, because it's an artisan good, I don't think it, it has a starred value. We haven't seen one yet, so we shouldn't bother, um, we shouldn't bother doing the, the, uh, fermenting on those ones. So let's sell these off, sell this off, and then save the rest of it for our purposes later in the season. And we'll see how crowded our thing is in here. Nope, not that. It's fully crowded. Uh, okay, we'll sell that off. Grape jelly and blueberry jelly. Blueberry jelly probably sells for a lot, actually. Uh, we don't know if it actually is used for anything yet. We don't have a recipe for it. So I don't think we should really save it until until we have a recipe like necessary for it, unless people want this stuff. But I don't think they do. So let's sell those off. Uh, we'll keep the bok choy. We'll keep the cranberries to make uh, more jelly with those, because that's actually pretty lucrative. And we'll work on getting more coal to make more uh, preserve jars. Sounds like a good plan. Other things we gotta make, we still are working on making the mayonnaise machine. We need an earth crystal and a copper bar, not a problem. But with earth crystals, be proving to be a little more difficult than I thought it would be. And then the, the loom, what can we make with that? Turns raw wool into fine cloth. Where do we have wool from? I mean, I guess we gotta have sheep. Didn't know we could have sheep. Well, now we have something to work for. Uh, yeah, we gotta get, we got some stables or something because we can have sheep. Okay, what are we doing right now? We're gonna sell these things off. Sell those off too, why not? Dump off our wood. Grab the cherry bombs out, because we're gonna go into the mines here quick. 10 of them, yeah, that'll help us out a lot. And then we still need to find old uh, Leah here. She just probably doesn't like being called old Leah. Let's go check her house quick, actually. She might be there, she might be there. And then we'll head to the mines quick here. And we'll take the shortcut if possible. We gotta go all the way up to the train station or the bus station. Bus stop, rather. And get those slimes killed. If we can get the. Is it six? How much is it? Six. That's not bad. We can totally do that, I think. Um, we also gotta head to a higher up area to get the earth crystals, because we're not finding them deep down anymore. And then we gotta save all the quartz we can find for refined quartz. She's not home ever. Hmm. We really haven't found her a fall hangout spot yet. So that is a little unfortunate. Okay, let's head back over to town here quick. And uh, we'll take the train over to the mines then. From the town here. Unless we see Leah bumming around at all. So that means we're gonna have another day without finding Leah. That means we have to find her two consecutive days tomorrow. And, and, and the next day. Unless she's at the bar randomly. I don't think she's gonna be here in the middle of the day. Nope, nobody there. And where else would she be? Maybe down by the water? Sometimes she's down there in the spot with the summer, but I don't know where she hangs out in the fall. I really don't. Where would she be? She would maybe like hanging out watching leaves or something? Watching the fall colors possibly? I don't know. Hey, another shell. Not bad. Let's tap that off. Of course. Okay. All these little errands to run. See what's in here. As long as we're down here, takes two seconds. And for a big ol' nothing, I guess there's one thing. On the very end, opposite end of the world here. One thing, not worth it. All right, we're, we gotta hustle now to get those six slimes, I think. Um, where does the magma start? I wanna say 90. I wanna say it starts at 90. Maybe 80? But the red slimes are one of the first things we saw. We might find them everywhere still. Well, maybe we'll just go to the lowest point right now and see if we see any. And then after that, we'll see. Uh, grab the some energy. And we'll head out. Let's go to the mines. All right, anything you wanna leave in here? Uh, let's leave those, take this. And leave this. Everything else we'll take with us. And I do want to re rearrange these, though. There we go. Okay, that works. All right, so yeah, we're gonna be stuck trying to find her two consecutive days, I think. Okay, let's go to 95 here. Let's see if we can find. Oh, there's, there's, there's might be enough right here. Wow. Oh, you dropped a whole copper bar. That's a good deal. Well, this gets us on the way at least to where we're headed for this. Oh, don't do it! Don't do it! Do we heal themselves? Woo! That retreat doesn't hit us with that thing. It's very deadly. Nice. 
He doesn't have a lot of damage, but he can do some serious problems for you. Um. Oh, there he is again. Ooh, Dwarf Skull 3. Have we gotten that one before? Artifacts. Yeah, Dwarf Skull 3 we've had. Okay, we have to hang on to it, I think. Let's hang on to it for now. We need to find one of each, apparently, according to the comment section. Um, let's do this. How do you like that one? And then, uh... There we go. Got two paths now. Another guy up there. Let's just take him up quick. I mean, the goal here isn't to get another one. Seriously? They don't sell for a whole lot. Get the warrior attack. How many do we get there? Four of six. Okay, so we only need two more. That's fantastic. And another one of those guys, though. Shoot. I hear a bat also. And no slimes here at all. Nice. Nice. Some gold will be good. Yeah, I think that this season, this this winter, basically we're gonna get all our tools leveled up uh, as high as we can. Um, the problem is gonna be getting money um, to level them. I think is the biggest problem in the, win in the winter here. Nice void essence. All right, let's uh, start mining, I guess. It's already seven though. Try a bomb right here. There we go. And these bombs are not tough to make. I think it's for the for the cherry bomb. It's just uh, copper ore and one piece of coal. Coal's kind of a premium right now, though. Nice. Cool. There's some copper. We do need the coal, though. We have three pieces. Oh, we're gonna have so much gold, though. Man, we already got enough gold that we'll probably upgrade all of our tools. Now, it's used for all kinds of stuff, though, so it's always good to have. And worst case scenario, we sell it off, you know? I mean, that's how we make some money in the winter, I think. So not be shy about selling it off. Uh, see what this, this solar essence sells for, too, maybe? Dungeon loot myself for a lot. All right, it's gonna be getting to be late, and we're not finding the red slimes we need. There's one, I think. Yep, I think he's a. Uh, he looks pink, but I think he's red. He's a the shadows. Oh, he dropped three coal. That's awesome. We need one more. Come on, there he is. Oh, he got us. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. This guy hits us. We're gonna be trouble. There's the quest. Cool. So that means tomorrow. We'll be ready to turn that into the wizard. Ooh, nice, strange bun. Ooh, there's some coal in that, that cart there. Oh, I wanted to block that, I couldn't. Couldn't react in time. It's six coal, awesome. That's gonna really help us as far as getting what we need to make some more preserve jars. And yeah, right, we just maybe like, just make like a bunch of preserve jars and uh, put them in somewhere in our house maybe or something. I mean, we'll just put them outside still, possibly. I mean, we're down far enough. I mean, it is getting late, but we should probably just go for it and try to get down to, to 99, get down to level 100, right? Since we're here, we're already 98. Uh, we do have some blasting tools we can do. Uh, let's do this, let's see if that works. Nope, not that time. Uh, all right, let's try killing this guy here. Sometimes that works, yeah, cool. Killing all the enemies seems to always drop a thing. Well, we actually made it. How about that? All right, let's take, take the advantage. Let's do it. And we got... Whoa. Whoa. You found the star drop. It's a strange... It's strange, but the taste reminds you of squid. Oh no! Oh no, we're eating squid! Your maximum energy level has increased. Oh, because squid is my favorite thing. I get it. That's that's not good. That's not good. When it said my favorite thing, it would ask me what is your favorite thing. Holy cow! Yeah, let's try it. Why wouldn't we? Oof. Nasty stuff down here. I don't think we would catch anything down here. Just personally. 
Soggy newspaper, okay. Confirms my suspicion so far. There's nothing in this, like, acidic lake here. Just newspapers. That's all that's going on in there. We probably gotta get home, though, in a minute. Okay, just trash, just trash. Just trash, okay, good. Uh, let's get back out of here now and head back home. Level 100, man, we made it. Cool, and we got a bonus health and bonus energy? Uh, wrong one, I'm gonna bust up. There we go, cool. And we got a little something here. Wild plum. Nice. Oh, I took these these berries with me. Well, you know, let's sell them off. Let's get some cash. Let's get some cash flow. Uh, we got those too. Um, keep that. Keep this. We have so much void essence. Let's sell it off now. Uh, aquamarine. Let's sell it off. Forage. Let's sell it off. Those we're gonna probably hang on to. I don't know if there's anything good to do with these. Maybe if we can ever read that, uh, we'll want to keep it. And the rest we'll keep, I think. Yeah, we'll keep the rest. And then we'll actually sell these off too. This is the art cranberries jelly. That should sell for a ton of money. And uh, then we'll take all of our trash and throw it in here for now. So we got some gold, copper, more coal. Um, some trash to refine. We got some monster loot to turn in. Get the strange bun, I guess. I don't know. Leave it here. We should probably run this food over to the, over to the um, mines, anyways. It is going to be used for. It's going to be used for our energy replenishment. All right. So actually, let's get let's get some more cranberries started right away, so that they uh. They get making, because I know I know they're going to sell for sell for a ton, so we're totally doing it. And so that'll be like six hundred bucks for those for those few there. Okay, we gotta get to bed now. All right, getting late. Let's get going. All right, so let's uh, let's take a rest. Call it a day. And how do we do? First of all, holy cow! And it's a lucrative day. We had the bok choy sells for eighty eight a piece. Okay, so that's good to know. Eighty eight is what it sells for. That's what it, that's what I, I think what I math that out to be. If it's got the star, it sells for one ten. And if it's got the Five. Oh, it's, it sells for yeah, one ten, right? And then this is if it's a, uh, let's see, that'd be three thirty. So it sells for thirty three. Wait, that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. Grape jelly sells for a ton. We found out blueberry jelly also sells for a ton. Soundberry does not. Cranberries, yes, sells for a ton, as the egg does. And this stuff, void essence sells for. Uh, let's see, six divided by thirty would be five, so it's fifty a piece. Not bad, not bad. Uh, okay, cool. I, I sold this newspaper off. Oh shoot, I think I just give this paper or not paper, uh, wood possibly. All right, cool. Pretty successful day as far as money goes. We're we're raking it in today. So I think, man, tons of money. Uh, we'll go take a look and see what it costs for a house upgrade. Maybe see what the next one's gonna cost us. It's going to be clear, sunny day tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Spirits Eve. The event will take place in Pelican Town starting at 10 p.m. and 11.50. Don't be late. Okay, cool. So we got a big thing ahead of us here. Let's make our sashimi for the day. Um, I don't think we're going to the mines, is it? No, I was going to say, is it raining? It's not. Here we go. Modi, you know, it's a chill in the air. It could just be the approach of winter, or it could be the tingle of Dark Spectre here to help us celebrate tomorrow's festival, Spirits Eve. Come at 10 if you'd like to participate. Cool. That'll be tomorrow's episode. Uh, that'll be fantastic. Can't wait. Uh, okay, let's leave this here for now. This will take with us. We got one more harvest of this. This is the last day of. This is the second to last day of the year. I don't think this stuff is gonna grow again. So we're just gonna we're just gonna not water today. Just go about our business. And we really need to concentrate on finding Leah today. I think. So we'll go find her. I think. Um, the only thing that might grow again is, well, I guess the stuff we didn't pick just now. So like the lower half of this might grow again. It might be a day behind, so it might still grow. Uh, the corn over here might still grow. The cranberries might still grow. So let's just water those things. It'll take two seconds anyways. Let's make sure our grass situation is good for our animals here. Or make sure it needs to be topped off and that they're well, well, well cared for. What I'm gonna do is just to see if they can get back in the house. If I do this, I'm gonna turn this back off. And then we're gonna say hi to each of them, of course. 
get them happy. Uh, and then close that up. Take a look at our thing here. Okay, so we just we, have, we were topped off before, the day before here for sure. Anything in here? Nope, they didn't drop anything off today. I think I might have to check the end of the day because it seems like when I check in the middle of the day, there's always never any, or the beginning of the day, there's never anything there. So maybe over time it uh, fills up. Hey, doggy, gotta say hi to you too. All right, so hang on to the grapes. Eggplant. Does eggplant sell for a lot? 60. Eh, same as the bok choy. It sells for 80. Okay, I get it. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the best thing to do would be artichokes, obviously. Or yams. Yams. Pickled yams. Yeah, that would sell for a lot. Uh, cool. Pickled yams would sell for a lot, though. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, let's see. Did we get an earth crystal? No, we didn't. So we need to head back to the line to get that. Hopefully get the mayonnaise thing going here. Uh, we also need to go make sure we get the, our chickens are fed. Didn't do that while we're over here. And I only got one egg today. Hmm. Disappointing. I think if we could get mayonnaise going, that'd be like the kind of same kind of thing, like the eggs will double in value. I don't know how long mayonnaise takes to make though. Uh, okay, so let's sell off the corn. Actually, keep the corn for cooking because we can make tortillas with it if we need to. I'm just like thinking of like the winter here, what we'll need. Uh, the eggplant, we probably don't need to save the eggplant, but we'll, we'll sell off. We'll keep five back. Um, that will sell, we'll take four of those. Let's try to keep it even numbers here. Or, uh, somewhat rounded numbers here. And, uh, yeah, we'll leave the rest here. Okay. Let's sell this stuff off. Just to get some cash up front. Our season's pretty much over with now. Okay, cool. So let's actually eat the sashimi. It's early in the day still. It's early in the day, 8.30. So we can try, maybe track down Leah. She might still be at home. We can get her before she leaves to start doing anything for the day. We're down by eight right now. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's enough. Okay, cool. All right. So we have to maybe tail her and see where she goes for the fall, maybe. Not quite sure. We haven't really been down to the woods lately, the south woods, so maybe it goes down there. We also haven't been to the hidden forest lately either. It's locked. Okay, she hasn't left the house yet. Good to know. And uh, let's go down to the south forest maybe today and take a look at that. Oh, look at this. Oh, right on it. Right on it. What is this going to be? It's just a regular chub. There we go. So something special about this spot. So far it hasn't proven to be. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, that was a special spot. Let's hit it again. It's fishing quick there, I think is the deal. Maybe it's just that kind of thing, it's about the special. It's regular chub. And? Spell the tails. Right on it. Nice. It's a fishing frenzy here. I love it. Oh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't lose this fish. I don't want to lose this fish, but I want that too. This is probably one of those tiger trouts. Oh, he sells for a ton. Stone is not great. This is going to really boost our skills, man. We've been fishing at this for only a couple minutes. And we've caught a ton of fish so far. Salmon? Strike while the water's hot, man. Strike while the water's hot. We can't miss that. We can't miss that. We can't miss that. Okay, go... Another salmon, look chub, and geode, not bad. That's my too far, too far. We got it. Uh. Now it's not working. Perseverance, that's the key. 
Oh, he got away at the very last second. Holy cow. This is awesome. It's so rare that we get one of these spots that we can... We gotta take advantage of it, right? Wow. It's like hitting the water. It's getting a hit as soon as it touches the water now. The magic spot, man. Oh, it's gone. Oh, that's it. That's it. The magic is over. Wow, that was that was a that was an awesome little rush there, though. If we can get one of those spots like a per day, holy cow. That's lucrative, lucrative. Uh, good stuff. And we got a dinosaur egg to give to Gunther. We're gonna get this museum cracked here soon, I think. Uh, get it all taken care of here. Leah's uh, over here, as far as we can tell. Nope. Okay. Oh, grab this though. Nope, okay. Well, shoot. I thought for sure she'd be down here, because we don't come down here very often. I suppose there's a few spots. Oh, you know what we need to do? Go talk to... Oh, Lewis, not the ma wizard. I thought, was the, I thought it was the wizard. Okay, good. So that's even easier, because we, we see him like every single day. Is she home now? Hey, there she is. Lady of the hour, how you doing today? I don't want to give her a gift, I want to talk to her. Do you have a kitchen in your house? Yes, I do. If you have a kitchen, you can cook all kinds of delicious meals. I, I can and I do. You don't have a kitchen in your house, though. Maybe she's jealous. She has kitchen envy? I don't know. Uh, let's get this placed in here. Let's also go... Yeah, the, the spinner is probably helping us a ton there, too. Uh, let's go take a look and see if our crab pot got us anything today. Then we'll swing past. We'll see if Lewis is up here first of all. He's usually up hanging out by the thing here. Uh, yep, there he is. Uh, Modi, you helped us with our slime problem. Thank you. I hope you didn't go through too much trouble. Those slimes can be pretty dangerous in the groups. Should be a little easier to go spelunking now, thanks to your efforts. Enjoy your reward. 360, job well done. Not bad. Oh man, we could do some serious turn in for our uh, community center if we wanted to. It's a big investment though. It's a big investment to, to turn over that much money. When money's at a kind of a premium still right now. But well, we're going into winter, we're not going to need money for too much more. We don't have to, like, replant or anything this season. Uh, plus, we're going to take all of our fish over to, to Willy right now and sell it off. <gasps> a crab! Nice. Can we do anything with that? I wonder if there's a recipe we have for crabs or anything like that. Well, we'll sell off all of everything we can. We'll go grab this stuff over here if there's anything. Coral. Now let's go talk to Willy quick here and sell this stuff off. We'll go talk to Gunther and turn on this fishing or this dinosaur egg, the fishing egg, the dinosaur egg. Uh, oh, we need to put the eight in here too. Rebate it. We should probably make more of these too. Cause I mean, it'd be great to get like a ton of things that every single day with that. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll make more of those like right now, maybe we'll see. What do they cost to make? Crap pots, crap pots, crap pots. Wood and iron bars, that's not bad. We can totally do that. Uh, sell, sell, sell. Man, we're up to 1200. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm starting to think maybe we should make some donations to the uh, community center. There is a $5,000 one we can do. And man, it's a big investment. We gotta do it at some point. We gotta do it at some point. And the reward for that is the bus is repaired. So, uh. That'll be cool. We should we should definitely do that because then we get more spots to go. That'd be fun. All right, let's talk to Gunther here. And what else do we have on us? We have a geode. We can go talk to uh, Clint while we're over here. Why not? Gunther, my man, how you doing today? We got something cool for you to this one. All right, here we go. No reward for us this time? That's okay, my man. We'll be back. Oh, book to read. Let's do it. All about the knowledge. Secrets of the Star Drop. For thousands of years, people have been intrigued by the mysterious powers of the star drop, but no one knows where they came from. Professor R.J. Cutler, a leading researcher on strange fruit, says this, We've discovered traces of genetic material on meteorites that closely resemble the star drop, but it's not a proven match. 
Regardless of where they come from, this peculiar fruit is said to be common, uncommonly delicious. And some even claim that they grant special powers to those that eat them. Yeah, we found that out, didn't we? It's all true. We are the perfect case study for that. All right, so this will go pretty good. We have uh, we have to find Leah. Oh shoot, we're not gonna we're not gonna get her another gift before the before the uh, before the um, event. I mean, I don't think we can give her anything at the event. What is that? Orpament? Orpament? Do we already give one of these to them? But it's high toxicity. This min mineral is widely used in manufacturing folk medicine. Okay, cool. Uh, let's swing past... What are we doing right now? Let's swing past the mine really quick here. And just go to the first top levels here. And see if we can get ourselves an earth crystal. They're all over the place in the top here. So let's go five, for instance. Um, and we'll just mine down a little bit on these. Let's see if we can find earth crystal. These are, they're even sitting on the surface sometimes. Or we can just break up some geodes too. That's another way to get them. Um, sometimes. Well, not so much, so much luck this time. Well, let's go down deeper. Let's just let's just do this instead of instead of like mining for it. Let's just get lucky. How about that? Uh, we'll just go down to ten, and if it's not there, we'll go down to fifteen. Anything? Wow, one hit on those those green ones now. That's pretty fantastic. There's the path down. Okay, we can find one of these chests maybe with the boxes here. Some wooden coal either way. All right, let's go down again. Hundred. 102. Okay, we're really rocking those things. We get some coal here, that'd be amazing too, at the end of the train tracks. Nope, no coal in that one. But well, copper ore is good. Always need that. Also need some more iron now, I think, too. Making short work of everything around here now. Isn't there a quest line in the Adventurers Guild to like kill a bunch of things? Might be time to like maybe revisit that, or maybe this winter will do that. Oh, there it is, Monster Slayer Goal are completed. Yeah, there it is. So we'll talk to Gil. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be easy now. Easy street. All right, Earth Crystal can come. This time it's for real. There it is, actually. Nice. Excellent. Okay, so we can make our mayonnaise machine. We just need one, I think. We don't need to worry about more than that. Um, unless we find one, like, right away. We're at 14. Might as well go 15 now at this point. Cave carrots. Good stuff. There is a meal we can make with those, so that's always going to be appreciated. 102. All right, we need to get to the Adventures Guild before it closes for the day. At 10, I think, is when it closes. A couple minutes still. All right, we didn't find the way out apparently. There it is. Wow, that was lucky. Oof. Okay. Any more earth crystals? No, but we got what we came for at least. All right, let's head back out of here. Um, and go talk to the adventurers guild quick. And see what we can get from Gil there. And then we'll head back home. Hey there, how's it going? Anything cool for sale now? Steel Flash Yon. Okay. Wow. Ooh, boy. Maybe that's what we do with our money. Obsidian Edge, what does that stack up? Just 30 to 35, 45. I think that's actually better than the... the, the uh, it's level 14, it's 26, no, it's got more speed though, is the key. Hmm. Dark boots. One of the rings might be nice, if we could find what we wanted. I don't know, we're fine. Uh, let's talk to him, and we got the hard hat. Keep your dome in one piece. Oh, nice. The four, four drawer is better, but we'll hang on to that hard hat. You never know. For the right occasion, possibly. Uh, oh, let's take a look and see where the other quest lines stand, actually. I think it's on the bulletin board over here. So we have, oh boy, a thousand slimes, okay. 
Void spirits, bats, skeletons, cave insects. We've already gotten that one. Duggies. Spear dust sprites. Let's see, get out of flame. Uh, so a thousand slimes would take a lot of killing. But if we go through the, like from the top to the bottom, maybe one day, 50, 7, 27, 50 skeletons, we just go back to the dungeon area. We're close on that one at least. And uh, dust sprites. Hmm. Those guys, yeah, those guys aren't. These guys aren't too deep actually. Maybe maybe there's more that's gonna unlock later once we unlock those all all done. But uh, yeah, we've gotten the more majority of those things seen already. Oh, cutscene with Linus. Fantastic. Modi, come stand next to the fire pit. It feels great. Yes, sir. I was hoping you'd come by sometime. I wanted to say sorry for mistrusting you at first. Oh man, don't worry about it. Most people don't treat me well and I've learned to be cautious. But you've been uncommonly nice to me and you're a unique person. And I consider you a good friend. Ah, uh, that's nice. He's not going to sass us anymore. Hey, I want to show you something. Come inside. Okay, okay. This might take a turn now. What? <laughs> what? Ah, uh, there we go. See, this is a special kind of fish bait that I make. It's on top quality stuff. I need it myself. Here, I wanted you to have the recipe. Awesome. Wild bait. Cool. Well, uh, that was an interesting experience, but we took, we came out, we came through on the other side, okay? And the recipe for that is wild bait. Wild bait. Wild bait is fiber, bug meat, and slime. Makes one each. It's not. Uh, it takes ten of five and five. It's not. Uh, it appeals to all fish, though. Hmm. Okay, well, that might be useful. Maybe we'll get some more of that. I mean, it's kind of expensive to craft, but once we're able to, like regularly, I guess slime is, and bug meat is the tough thing to come by. Uh, plant fiber, not so much. That'll be, that we have tons of. All right, what can we sell off before the day ends up here? Uh, let's go this. Let's sell off chewing stick. Oh, we got to hang on to that. Okay. Uh, oh, we got the earth crystal. We could finally make ourselves a mayonnaise machine. Oh, look at this. This thing's just got done. Um, we're on a weird cycle where it's getting done at night. It's not a timing thing, actually. So it's like a number of ticks or something like that, maybe. I don't know. I don't think it's a tick thing, but um, it's on a timer. So that's why it's getting done in the middle of the night here. Turn this in. Turn this in. Hang on to that for now. Hang on to this for now. Same with this. Same with this. Same with this, same with this, same with this. Man, we're getting good stuff here. Okay, let's just let's just drop it all off. Uh, well, the skeletal tail will sell off. Actually, we don't need to hang on to that for any reason. And the honey, why not? And this, we'll sell these off too. Keep the geode, of course. All right, so that's gonna do it for this episode of Stardew Valley. I'll be back for another one tomorrow. We'll be back for the Spirits Eve thing see what that event's all about. It's the evening time event. Uh, so we'll have a full day of exploring and that kind of thing to do ahead of time. And the weather is going to be good. We already checked that. Uh, sounds good. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow for another episode. Have a good night.